time I need the search is just my money, make it worse. Skirt, skirt, in a burst. Skirt, skirt. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into if you go through that door. It's slow motion when I dance. I've seen too much. And I'm under the belief right now that if Nolan truly wanted us to understand it on the first watch, he'd at he least turn up the damn volume, volume on the actors' mics. Actors. Mics. mics. Has Christopher Nolan finally set the bar too high for himself? Alright, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, this is an incredibly hard movie to review after only seeing it once. Um, I came out feeling like I missed out on nearly a hundred key points, but maybe that was the point. Guys, welcome back. It is I, Cape Informer, and we finally received the long-awaited Christopher Nolan film, Tenet. So, if you are familiar with any Nolan films, uh, you'd recognize a lot of them for being complex and not containing a whole lot of exposition. Um, and if you are indeed a fan of that style, I'm happy to let you know that there's plenty of that to enjoy in Tenet. However, this film has become notoriously divisive and uh, for good reason. You know, I think a lot of people went into this movie with certain expectations on how they're going to feel or what they're going to see. And on a certain level, I kind of feel a lot of us were robbed in that respect. But I'm also under the belief that a lot of our disappointments are based off the mindset we approached the film with. Let's just say you want a diehard Nolan fan and just wanted a chance to sneak out of the house to enjoy an exciting spy thriller that presents some mind-bending elements that you haven't even thought of before, much less seen in a movie. Tenet can more than likely accomplish this goal. Quick reminder to you all to click on that subscribe button to keep up with all of my reviews, reactions, rants on your favorite movies, TV shows, and video games. Don't miss out. So for a real quick synopsis, uh, Tenet stars John David Washington as a character simply called the protagonist. He's a secret agent who embarks on a dangerous time-bending mission to prevent the start of World War III. He's joined alongside his partner Neil, played by Robert Pattinson, who mysteriously knows a bit more about this time-bending world than he does. Tenet is relentlessly fast-paced and will absolutely not wait for the viewer to catch up with what's going on. So my first suggestion in going into this film is to truly not try. Pick up on what you can and run with it. Are you in the first act hoping the dots connect in the second? Wrong! There's just going to be more dots and even less connections. What you can, however, keep up with is how stunning everything looks and how flawlessly the camera works in these super complex scenes. The stunt work, the real and authentic effects, all something we have yet to see on the big screen and it's reason alone to buy that ticket. Similar to the movie's pacing, a lot of these scenes are very quick, but offer a lot in a short duration of time. So there's even more reason to stay present in the movie and less focus on the complex storytelling. The performances were all fairly solid all around as well. Um, I'm a bit disappointed to say there were no real standouts in this. Uh, I mean, John David Washington accomplished his role to the best of his ability but it's hard to not say that another more seasoned actor could have probably done better. Like, I didn't walk out of this movie thinking he was bad, uh, but I don't see this movie skyrocketing his career. I'd love to comment a bit more on the dialogue and overall script writing, but that would be kind of hard to have an opinion of, since a lot of the time, you really couldn't hear what they were saying. Real talk. Like, I almost started to think there was something faulty with the theater I was in, uh, but no, uh, a lot of the characters murmur or whisper their lines, and on top of that, their speech volume is significantly low. There's these key scenes uh, where you really want to know what's going on, and here they are talking under their breath, some of them with thick, heavy European accents as well. I'm sure I can't just blame it on the actors, as I'm pretty sure they were instructed to speak in that way, uh, but I'm not gonna lie, it truly did get annoying. Just another reason to almost forego the story, at least on the first watch, because quite honestly, there's a lot more to enjoy outside of it. And I'm under the belief right now that if Nolan truly wanted us to understand it on the first watch, he'd at least turn up the damn volume on the actors' mics. So anyways, guys, that's my takeaway on Tenet and how you can actually enjoy it on your first watch. Please leave me your thoughts on the movie below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Peace!